Hey everyone, it's me, Kimberly Clark, and I'm here with a fabulous Lush haul. Nothing to hide, nothing. I got nothing. Nude awakening. Oh, that's a, that's a pun. Welcome to my haul! I can't even believe I'm filming this video because I have like, I think I have six videos that are like in my edit queue that I have to edit to post. But I just, I just really was excited to kind of share some of these purchases that made me really happy. Now, most of you know me for my anti-hauls and you know my anti-consumerism on this channel and of course I wholeheartedly believe in that, but I like to do these haul videos just to prove that I do actually legit love makeup and get really, really excited by beauty and skincare and makeup. And Lush is a brand that I have been into and in love with for like over a decade, like a really long time. I remember I first went to a Lush, I think when I was in high school in London. I think I went to, went on like, a, I went to France and Spain on a, my foreign language trip. And I think we stopped in London. And I, I think that was my first time experiencing Lush and I just fell in love. Lush, if you don't know, is a handmade cosmetic brand. They're based in the UK. They are very much against animal cruelty, so all of their products are cruelty free. They are all very organic, very natural. You could eat a lot of these products and be totally fine. They are mainly a skincare line. Most people know them for their bath bombs. These things you put in the bath, they fizz and give you like a little staycation at home, which give you a little bit of luxury, you know? Anyway, so I ended up going going to the Lush here in New Orleans and I was helped out by some amazing people like Abby. Hey girl, uh, she, I, 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 she's gonna cry. I just want to say thank you to her. She really just was very sweet. She kind of saw me and was like, oh my god, you're Kimberly Clark. And I was like, yes. I just love, I love meeting you guys in person. It's so exciting. And if you see me out of drag or in drag, please, please, please say hi to me. I love real people and real life. So, hey, Abby, what's up, girl? Let me just jump into these products that I got. So this haul is chock full of some old favorites, some products that I've used for ever and some new products that I'm really interested in trying out. So let's get the bath bombs out of the way first. First, I got this one. It's called the Guardians of the Forest. I don't have it because my boyfriend used it. I said he could use one before I filmed this haul. He used one. It's just like a beautiful kind of like foresty, like fabulous green, calming, relaxing. Oh, like all the bath bombs are just lovely, fabulous. I love them. They're fabulous. The other two I got uh, are this one, which is one of my all-time favorite bath bombs of all time, of ever, of life, of everything. It's called Big Blue. It's like you are in the ocean. Like you descend into the sea and all that is glorious, beautiful, and fabulous smelling ugh, about the sea is in your bathtub with you. It's fabulous. Big Blue. Ooh, girl. I'll like annotate what these what they what ingredients are in them because I I'm like literally running out the door I'm just like shooting this really quickly oh and then this one this is avo bath bomb this is just like an avocado one it's got I think it's got lemon peel in it oh fabulous beautiful lovely absolutely stunning great can't go wrong so those are the three bath bombs that I got let's just stick to the we'll stick to bath and then we'll kind of move outward from the bath. So the other thing I got, which is a bath product, is this. This is the big shampoo. So all of Lush products come in these kind of like plastic tins, which you can then trade in to get a free mask, like if you collect five of them. Really great kind of like back to Mac type recycling program they have, love it. Very different than Mac because of the whole animal testing thing, remember? Watch all my other videos about that, oi. Anyway, big is just a fabulous kind of like sea salt based shampoo and it is just fabulous for getting like it says on the tin big hair big hair you know i like my big hair even though as a boy i don't got much of it left i still like it to be big so along with the big hair i purchased this this is the big conditioning bar i actually we've used this a couple times so it's the the embossing there's an embossing on it it's it's worn off you might even see one of my actual boy hairs on there. <gasps> but it's just like the accompanying conditioning bar to this. And I gotta say, I've never used these products before. I got my mom a little Mother's Day gift basket and it included these products and she was the one that to told me to try them. She was like, I tried that shampoo, it was amazing. Oh my God, try it. 
they made my hair so big. And I was like, I love big hair, yes. Anyway, so I got these because of her. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, but the conditioning bar with the shampoo really is fabulous. The shampoo can be a little stripping because it is sea salt. I've never used this sea salt product, but I've used their ocean salt, which is a salt scrub for the body and face. And it is just, it's, it's intense, it's salt. So it does kind of like dry out your hair a little bit, which is why this, the conditioning bar, is a fabulous kind of duo with these. Ugh, love it, love my big, Lushy hair, fabulous. Sticking in the shower, I'm just gonna do cleansers because I usually wash my face in the shower. This is like, it's like the holy grail cleanser of all cleansers. I It's maybe one of the first products of Lush that I discovered way back when and I have loved it ever since. It is coal face. So Lush sells their soaps and their solid products, a lot of them, if they're not like in a, in a bar like this. They're just in giant like slabs at the store and you could have them cut off slices for you or buy prepackaged ones. I just like to store mine in the original packaging and just slice off little bits of it. It's like deli packaging. Now I think a lot of people might be a little wary of like a packaging like this where you're like, oh wow, that's not super practical, like it's like deli meat, you gotta wrap it up. But the thing about Lush products is they're all made fresh. They all have dates on them that say when they were made and packed on. Like you can see on the, the big shampoo, it even shows who made it. Sash made it on April 28th or whatever. So the products are super fresh. So the packaging is kind of designed to help you remember how fresh they are so you keep using them. It's not something that you're gonna pack up in a little box, leave in the back of your you know, vanity for six years and then forget about it and then maybe pick it up again. No, you gotta use it fast because the ingredients are actually fresh. Anyway, coal face is, ugh, it smells like licorice. It's got charcoal in it. It is the freaking best like cleanser for oily skin I've ever used. I have gone off and on with using this over the years, but I'm trying some new skincare products right now. It's what it's done is like kind of expose some of my blackheads and my my face a little bit. And so I was like, let me go back and get my coal face so I could see if it could help clear up some of that. And it's uh, like it's just so good for like wicking oil out of your skin. It's just freaking fabulous. I love it. It's my, like, I'm an oily girl. If you know me, I'm oily. I'm pizza face. I'm Sicilian. Like, go figure. This is just the best for oily skin. If you have dry skin, I would be wary of this because it does tend to dry me out a little bit. But, ugh, girl, it is like, it, it's just the best. This is maybe my favorite product that this brand makes. I've loved it for years. Still love it. Cold face. One more bar that I got. This is, okay, this is another product that I've used for years. And I honestly, like, I've used it in the shower, but I really just use this for hand soap because it's just so luxurious. I don't want to use, I don't want to put it in my shower because then it'll go away faster and I want it to stick around. This is sea vegetable. It is, a, it, it's like the kind of bar version of either ocean salt, the sea salt scrub I mentioned, or big, the shampoo. It's like... A layered bar uh, it smells like the ocean like it's so I'm filming this video just so you could see me like I've I watch haul videos of like girls where they're just like smelling things and freaking out uh, I want to have an olfactory orgasm on camera for you that was just that's just my goal so let's see let's hope it happens Oh my god, it smells so good. And it has a layer of sea salt, which does, which can act like a scrub for you, and dried seaweed in it. So that also is like an exfoliating kind of like, uh, it's so fabulous. It's great, but I refuse to use this on my body. I only use it. I cut little slivers off of it and put it next to my sink. And it's like, I, I feel like I'm in a fancy hotel by the ocean. It's fabulous. Sea Vegetable by Lush. Oh! One other product that is like a cleanser product. This, uh, so I so I told you I was doing this new skincare situation. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Oh my God, it's, you'll, you, you'll want to hear about this. Let me just tell you, let me just tell you. Anyway, but one of the suggestions of the skincare line is to use, to exfoliate your skin regularly. Now, I don't have a really good exfoliator. I've used Angel... What's it called? Angel's Share? No, that's the Angel Share is that that sushi place, that sake bar on 9th Street in New York. No, 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 what is it? Angel's, I forgot what it's called. There's like a black charcoal, kind of like the exfoliator scrub version of Coal Face. And I've used that before and it's amazing, but it's a, it's really intense. So like I have very sensitive skin and really oily skin. It's great for the oil. It's a little intense on the skin. It's a little rough. I can't really use it consistently. So I was like looking for an exfoliator that was a little bit more gentle, but like would still do the job. And Abby, oh, I love, hey girl, hey girl, 
again. She suggested this. This is a limited edition facial scrub. It's called Smuggler's Soul. We're both pissed that it's limited edition because it's freaking amazing. The exfoliating particles in here are bamboo. So it's like ground up, very, very finely ground up bamboo, and they don't dissolve. Like with a salt scrub, as you use, or a sugar scrub, as you use it in the water, it dissolves and goes away. This is bamboo, so it doesn't dissolve as quickly. I guess it biodegrades somehow eventually, but does not dissolve in the water on your face. So you could really go to town and exfoliate as much as you want, and because it's bamboo and it's the particles are so small, it's really more like a microdermabrasion thing than like a kind of rougher exfoliating thing. My skin does not get red when I use this. It doesn't like get irritated in any way. It's very gentle and very effective and Girl, I like, I'm gonna have to go buy more of these, like another one of these. Although, you, that's the thing, is that you can't buy backups because they expire. Like this one says I have to use it within a year. Look in your cabinet, see if you have some face washes from over a year old. I know I do, oof. Smuggler's Soul Fabulous Bamboo Face Scrub. Just gorgeous. And it really is, it does take care of my exfoliating. I love it. Couple more things. So one more, ooh, I gotta grab it out of the fridge. So as you may know, Lush does sell like very fresh. So all their products are fresh but they have very, very fresh products in store. They have like masks in little little bowls that you can, they can make a little, a little tin for you. So I got this fresh mask, it's called Don't Look At Me, and I was looking for a mask that would be really good post makeup wearing, not to remove my makeup, but to really rehydrate my skin, remove any last tiny little bits of makeup after like a full night of wearing makeup. I have not used this yet, but I'm going to use it, oh my god, tonight actually. I'm so excited, but... Like, can you see how good this smells? It smells... I don't know how to describe it. It smells like Mr. Bubble, maybe? And like, like, honey, honeysuckle. It's crazy, it's amazing, oh my god. Uh, ah! Okay, I'm so excited. But this one I have to use like in, a, in within like the month, this, this month of right now. Like I have to use it or else it'll go bad because it's so... Fresh. Cleansing lemon juice and scrubby ground rice will leave your skin with nothing to be shy about. Oh my god, the rice! Like, it's another, like, very organic, gentle exfoliator. Oh my god, girl, I'm so excited! Ah, I'm so excited! So this is Don't Look At Me Crazy Blue Fresh Face Mask. Oh, girl. Oh, okay. I also got this. This is Dirty. It's a shaving cream. So I... I usually use the Pro Rosso shaving cream, uh, the sensitive skin version. It's from Sephora. I get it at Sephora. But this, I was like, I want to try a shaving cream from Lush that me and my boyfriend could both use. Oh my god, I can't stop, I'm sorry. This is what all everyone's Lush hauls are like. They're just smelling, I feel like I'm the freaking like Appleton uh, candle woman. Like the, the woman that with her peach bellinis. Like, are you alive? Are you a person? Remember her? Remember, wasn't that fun? Anyway, uh, I use this today to shave. I love it. Dirty is one of their like signature scents. They have several kind of signature scents and Dirty is one of them. Ooh, it's good, girl. It's safflower oil, oat milk, and honey. It says to soothe. So soothing. This is not gonna lather. I was mistaken about that. I tried to use it with like a shaving brush and tried to lather it. Doesn't lather. But smooth it onto your skin, shave with it. Fabulous, oh, girl, fabulous. And this is the small container, the large container is like this size. I might invest in the larger version if I continue to love this, which I might. Anyway, love it. Dirty shaving cream. Girl. Two more products, two more products. Cosmetic Lad, Holy Grail Moisturizer. I have not been using this for a while, like a year, maybe more, because I've been using my First Aid Beauty, and then recently I started using this new skincare stuff, but my, my boyfriend actually asked me to get this because he loves this, and like from what he remembers of when I used to use it, he loves it. This is a moisturizer, it's called Cosmetic Lad because I guess every company has to do something to market to men so they don't feel emasculated buying a completely non-gendered black tan. Anyway, we, you know how, how we feel about all that bullshit. Anyway, moving on. But it's not for men. It's just a fabulous moisturizer. And if you like a thick moisturizer that once you put it on, you feel it. Like, it's there. It doesn't, like, stay greasy. It doesn't get greasy or anything like that. Like, I applied it I applied it under my makeup today, actually, and it's fine. It's absolutely fabulous. My makeup went on as lovely as it always does. Because I'm good. Because I'm good like that. Because I got skill. But it didn't, like, I was worried because it feels so thick. Which feels great, you know, especially if your skin is, like, a little dry or, like, in need, in need of some love. I would say this is comparable to the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I think it's a little more... I mean, definitely has a, a scent. 
like it has like a little lemony scent or something. What's in it? Lavender, wheatgrass, aloe vera cream. You, so it smells like those things, I guess. But it, you feel it a little bit more than the First Aid Beauty, if that makes any sense. It like feels a little heavier, but it doesn't really affect how your makeup applies. I don't know if that makes sense. So I don't know if this is for everyone, but for me and like when I, like I, I, I'm doing all this other skincare stuff that I'm testing, but I'm really tempted to just put this all over my face after I use this mask tonight because it feels so good, it feels so good. Okay, final, final product. I'm rushing, I'm rushing because I'm gonna be late. Okay, this is the Enchanted Eye Cream. The skincare line that I'm trying right now, uh, I don't have an eye cream with them. So I was like, you know what? If I'm really going all out with this other skincare stuff, I might as well get an eye cream. And I've never used this before. This is the Enchanted Eye Cream. Blend of organic oils, soothing honey around the finest area of your skin, simple, refreshing, and softening. I can absolutely attest to the fact that it is refreshing. You put this on your eyes, suddenly your eyes are cool and feel less puffy. Like it's, um, it really, it's, that's the benefit of using these fresh products that are like very essential, like oil based and like, just like really, really fresh is like you feel that the effect, you know how people use beauty products like for the feel and for like the long term effects or whatnot, but we love when it feels really good. I have no idea how this will make my eyes look in a month, but it freaking feels amazing to apply. I really, really love this. It's just great. And the only other eye cream that I've really used consistently in my life has been actually from the brand Fresh, uh, the really expensive like Black Lotus eye cream which I really, really like. But this, like, it's just like, it feels like it's that, but with actual fresh ingredients. And like, it, I don't know, I just love it. I love it. Anyway, so that's the last thing I enchanted eye cream. Ugh, girl. That's my haul, that's it. I'm sorry, I, I, if it seemed like I was rushing, I was, cause I gotta get out the door, it's not, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta leave right now. Thank you so much to all my patrons on Patreon, you are making these videos possible. If you're interested in learning more about that, check out the link right down below. Thank you everyone for subscribing and being here and watching my videos. If you are not subscribed to my channel, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? You know, more me, more is more. Thanks so much for watching, I love Lush, thanks Abby. I'm Kimberly Clark!